So in this question, we are given a hollow uniform sphere. The inner radius of the sphere is Ra, the outer radius is Rb. The sphere is made of a material whose resistivity is rho. We are given that the current, the electric current, in the sphere is flowing radially outwards from the inner surface towards the outer surface. So it's flowing uniformly outward. Uh, the question is, uh, what is the total amount of electric resistance that this current would experience? Now, to, to, to find that out, let's consider a small element of that whole sphere, which is symmetric uh, with respect to this figure. Now, an element which is symmetric would be a spherical shell which I have shown with this blue line, a spherical shell of thickness of thickness of the wall dr and the radius r. So imagine you have a spherical shell of radius r and thickness of that spherical shell is dr. Now we know that if we have a piece of wire of length L, cross-sectional area A, then the resistance of that wire is equal to the resistivity length A divided by 8. If your resistivity is not uniform across the piece of wire, but the shape of the wire is the same, then you can still find the total resistance, but now you need to consider a small element of that wire. Let's say it has a length of dx, so then you can say that this small element has resistance dr rho dx over a. So a similar approach can be adopted here. If you think of that spherical shell, it has a certain resistance dr, which is equal to rho times the thickness of that spherical shell, which is dr, divided by the surface. In this case, it's the surface area of that spherical shell. Now remember that it is, it has a radius r. So the surface area of a sphere would be equal to 4 pi r squared. So given that, we can now calculate the total resistance of that uh, whole sphere. So r is equal to integral of this. So rho over 4 pi dr over r squared and we integrate from Ra, the inner radius, to Rb, the outer radius. So Ra to Rb. So this then is equal to rho over 4 pi r minus 2 plus 1 minus 2 plus 1 from Ra to Rb. So finally, we can say that the resistance R is equal to rho over 4 pi, 1 over R A minus 1 over R B. So this is the uh, total resistance of that whole spherical sphere.